Um, I think you're you're kind of pulling at straws if you go to the numbers five verse to justify that God's cool with it. Um, because that clearly I think within context is not what's clear. Yeah, and so the way that they saw the performing of that was more of a, a ritual of trying to indicate guilt or mm-hmm. innocence. And in the performance of that, they though you know that they in the, in the ancient world and did not see the the death of the child or or the baby or what have you um as being a um as being the purpose of doing it they just saw it as a an effect of of judgment um now of course we can begin to split hairs in in, in all of those different aspects but they were operating under their knowledge of the world and of medical science and the way that the gestation process uh, happens. And so that would take um, a lot of very careful examination of all of the implications in that. Um, but But we can say that that situation is not directly analogous to the modern day practice of abortion Mm -hmm. because abortion is not a ritual in which we try to find out whether a woman is uh of a of a sexual sin Mm -hmm. so (laughs) yeah yeah i mean the the there may there may be bad consequences of that but even in them doing that um they saw it as a consequence of god and there are a lot of things in the mosaic laws levitical laws and deuteronomy um that are allowable uh or even sometimes suggested that we as christians wouldn't dare think about about doing anyways and so i think that it i think that it's it's unfair and as you said really grasping at straws when you go back to um something like that and you try to you try to proof text instead of of seeing the broader theological context. Mm-hmm. Well, I think